Did you like my intro? I know you did, because you're going to like this even more. Welcome to the Farpoint PlayStation VR Game Review. <laughs> what is up, you guys? It's Avery here, bringing you guys my second uh, video game review. I know that I don't really do reviews a lot, and I don't have the necessary equipment to make them as extravagant as, like, Angry Joe, but I still really like to do reviews on games because, as majority of you guys should know, I am a huge gamer, uh, and in case you didn't see my update video, which was my last video that I posted, I went on a cruise, so I decided to grow up my beard, and my god, I look like a mountain man. <laughs> so, let's talk about Farpoint, because I've pretty much beaten this game, I'm almost done, I'm almost near the very end, uh, there, I'm gonna try and keep this spoiler free, and it, you guys will know by the title better than I do whether this is spoiler free or not, but, we're going to do our best to not talk about any of uh, the spoilers in the game. I will say it is very interesting. And Doom, Bethesda, you need to make something just like this. Just a little bit better gameplay mechanics for Doom. If Doom does not become a PSVR game, I will be extremely disappointed. Because Doom can take advantage of this so well. So, let's get into the review. So, I did buy the $80 um, deluxe bundle, which... Some people will say $80 for a AAA game, and some people might not even consider it AAA because it's not, some people might say it's not a full-length game because you really just have the campaign, but we're going to get into all that. So first, let's just start off with the pricing. $60 for the base game, okay? That's just if you want to strap on your PSVR headset and play with your PlayStation 4 controller. Still not bad um, for what the game is it's not a terrible asking price. Um, if you get the $80 deluxe bundle, which comes with this, which we are going to talk about, because <laughs> this thing is freaking awesome. <laughs> but you can look at it one of two ways. Either A, you're paying $60 for the game, and $20 for this, the, like, the glorified Wii U zapper. <laughs> or you can look at it vice versa. And the zapper alone goes for about forty to fifty dollars so getting the eighty dollar bundle is your best choice and it, it feels great too it's not cheaply made this thing is absolutely amazing so i paid eighty dollars for the game the game is absolutely fantastic i think that that asking price is overall okay um, and i say that because of what we're going to be getting into with the game mechanics so let's go ahead and get into the story now most people will tell you that the game is about four to six, maybe five to six hours long. And to me, I agree with that. I would say I have about maybe four to four and a half hours in. And it would be a lot more, but the problem is, is the PlayStation camera and the VR headset itself. What do I mean by this? So, basically, as you're playing, it kind of loses you, right? Um, but I, I don't want to lose track. The, the story is absolutely awesome. The fact that you're starting off in space and like you go through a wormhole and all of a sudden you just land on this planet and you are forced to basically fend off these alien-like creatures and you have to be able to find uh, the two scientists that you're looking for and the, it's, it's an absolute science fiction psychological thriller game that the story just makes it absolutely great. You truly do get attached to these characters, I feel anyway. Learning about what happened as you landed on the planet and the years that went by. Yes, we are talking about a year's span that happened as you went through this wormhole and landed on this planet. Now, the graphics. The graphics are amazing. I don't have a PlayStation 4 Pro, maybe you do. I just have the base PlayStation 4 that came out a few years ago, and the game is beautiful. No ghosting, there's, you know, no really sort of lag. It it just it feels absolutely great. But now here is the problem that comes with that. The game is so freaking beautiful. But I'm taken out of the experience when I go to lean against a wall or walk through a hologram and my screen just goes dark for like a second, and then as I walk backwards in game, my screen comes back. Those are one of the things that really took me out of the experience and has actually been seen in the majority of people that have played the game. Many people are complaining about this, that 
they go to walk straight or lean against a wall and all of a sudden their screen just goes black for a second they can't see anything and then it comes back on and because of the fact that this does happen that you have these tendencies in game to where you know you might be standing like this you know holding your gun actually I'm right handed you'll be holding your gun trying to shoot at people and all of a sudden your screen goes dark because you're like leaning against a wall or you're trying to duck you're trying to look up and sometimes whenever you're trying to look up which is what you have to do if you want to be able to kill some of the high flying enemies if your PlayStation camera isn't able to detect you going high enough or like you going high up then it's going to once again take you out of the experience putting basically a blue line over your whole body to help you readjust and recenter yourself but the problem is this doesn't work either because it shows you where the PlayStation camera is but at the same time you're literally moving around in a circle as you're trying to fend off these enemies and kill the aliens and do what you have to do <laughs> so let, let me give you an example of this I'm on a pl or I'm on part of the planet right now where there are a lot of enemies in the sky I have to look up and shoot but even when I'm looking up and shooting my gun won't move it'll just it'll freeze because my camera's not able to detect that I'm looking up in the air that could be because of my setup but I even moved my PS4 setup from my room because I didn't have enough room in my bedroom out into the living room which I would have plenty more space in in order to play this game and I'm still experiencing issues not as many as I did in my my bedroom but ex I'm experiencing issues nonetheless now this could vary from person to person if you have the perfect best possible setup for PlayStation VR then maybe you won't have this issue but I know for me you know just in even in a living room type of space that has a good chunk amount of room I am still experiencing issues now another issue with this game well first let's go ahead and pray something else that I found out about just a couple hours ago when I was playing you can literally duck in game they, the developers did a great job at putting this into your character. Let's say that you know you're trying to duck because you're trying to be stealthy. Your character will literally duck with you as you're ducking, and you will walk forward, and you can get a jump on the enemy. Something I found that was really cool, although kind of glitchy, there was this metal bar in front of me, and my character was too tall. So what did I do? I crouched, literally, in the real world and in-game, and I use this control stick right here to move forward and I was actually able to move forward of course my screen went black for a second but then once I kind of recollected myself and I was able to move forward I was able to stand back up and I was fine um, really really cool how that works out um, and even just holding this gun it just it feels so good uh, and the developers did a great job at making sure that this experience is great for the user they you go into the options menu and they have like you can use this control stick here to turn left right up or down you can have it be by a click you can have it be you know smooth personally me I get motion sick with that but if you don't get motion sick I suggest that you try it out or you can just move in the real world and use this can this button once again to move forward that's what moves you forward and back and side to side and you move around in the real world which is what I do which might be why I'm experiencing excuse me some issues but it's what works best for me so that I don't get motion sick however at the same time this is once again where I do see some issues because I might be too far away from my camera and I'm aiming like this and it, it doesn't really detect it now <clears throat> another issue I've been experiencing I am a right-handed person they have it said where you can be right-handed left-handed whatever you have an L button here for scanning this button will shoot like rockets and stuff let's say you're aiming down sight well as you're aiming down sight your your glorified Wii U zapper is what I'm gonna call it uh, you might be aiming like this but then in game your gun will slowly drift to the left so your sight might be here but your gun in game might be all the way on over here and I literally just experienced this a couple hours ago when I was playing and I couldn't aim so what I had to do was I looked up online I had to shake the gun in real life to recenter it and even then it wasn't all that perfect so then I tried going into my PlayStation 4 settings I turned off this device 
and then I turned it back on and it made it better. And I'm hoping that whenever I turn it back on to play again, I'm hoping that it'll be fixed. Um, but it's sort of just one of those things that I guess I just sort of had to deal with. Um, now there is a button up top here. This is the uh, PSN button. You hit that and since this is a Bluetooth device, it'll connect right to your system and you're good to go. You've got your circle, triangle, square, and X buttons here. Kind of cool how they worked that out. Um, this is another button right here. This isn't really used for anything in game. Of course, you've got the trigger button you used to shoot. Um, you've got an R1 button uh, here, and then you've got one on the other side. Uh, this ball moves, which is kind of nice. It's actually kind of squishy, too. That's what she said. <laughs> and then you've got, of course, a share button, an options button, the control stick, and then you've got an analog stick right here. Again, it feels very good whether you're right-handed or left-handed. I'm not even left-handed, and this actually feels really good. I'm right-handed, all the granted I'm ambidextrous, and this just feels really, really good. You see, I've got my button or my thumb here on the control stick, and I've got my fingers here on the scan button and the rocket button. Well, that's in game. Um, it also comes with a charging cord um, right here. Or I, no, it did not come with a charging cord, excuse me. It did not come with a charging cord, at least in my package. Um, I think that it is supposed to. I can't exactly remember. Uh, I think it did. I don't remember. Point is, you charge it with any sort of USB cord. It's very nice. Uh, there's also another hole right here. I think that's for like a uh, headphone jack. Uh, there's two on here, so you can like charge both if you really need to. Um, but you know, just use like a USB cord that you use for your headset or whatever, and you're good to go. Um, the gameplay overall is amazing. It's it's definitely puts you in that VR, I guess, mood. Um, but all the people that say you can't just, no one, your typical gamer isn't going to want to sit down and throw on a headset and start playing. They just want to sit on the couch playing a normal video game. I agree with you on that. Because I've noticed that if I want to play this game, I have to tell myself, all right, let's sort of get in the mood here and let's throw on the headset and set everything up. It's worth it once you have everything set up and you're able to play and you're good to go. Uh, but it is definitely not just something where you can just like sit down and throw on the headset and play. They, the developers actually recommend that you stand up while playing this game and that does make it even more immersive. So I highly suggest that you stand while playing this game. It is absolutely amazing. So the final verdict for Farpoint. Gameplay, amazing. There is also a challenge mode, which you can work with another player to like get the high score. Other than that, all you have is story mode, so there's not really a lot of replayability factor unless you want to go back and play the story and like get 100% in trophies. Uh, the challenge mode have not yet tried. I've heard it's okay, but I'm going off based upon the content of the game. I don't really consider a challenge mode that much content. There might be more content in the future. We'll have to see. Uh, there's no micro DLC, thank God. Uh, your pre-order bonus is like a new like red suit for your astronaut character that you get, which is pretty nice. Um, the graphics are amazing, even on a regular PS4. I can't imagine what it would look like on the Pro. Game runs great, and besides the few issues that I've experienced in game that many people have experienced as well, this is definitely a game that you should pick up if you have PSVR. It's kind of like Resident Evil. If if you don't have PSVR, you would want to go out and get it along with Resident Evil. If you want to get PSVR and you like Farpoint, get Farpoint PSVR. The game is absolutely amazing. We're going to give it an 8 out of 10. Because of the few bugs that it has and because of the few issues I've had while playing in-game, I can't give it that 10 out of 10, but it is by far not a tech demo. It is not something like on Oculus Rift where it's like a little five-minute game. This is a full-fledged AAA title that developers have worked very hard on, and I give it an 8 out of 10 for that. It is the best PlayStation VR game I've ever played. It's the best VR game in general I've ever played. So, guys, thank you for watching this long uh, and <laughs> tiring review. Thank you, guys, for watching, as always. Go out and buy this game. This game is amazing. Get the $80 Deluxe Bundle. It is worth it. Thank you, guys, for watching, and subscribe if you're not already.